Do I need to wear the lab coat? It is completely necessary. If you if you don't feel comfortable, we can get you refreshments that you can use. No, it's okay. It's okay. I'll, sure. I need to do it. Can we get more lights, please? Hi there. I'm Dr. Ryan Nettleboat. Uh, I'm here today to talk to you about an experiment that took place here three years ago where we tried to clone a human being. Uh, I will now tell you the results of this experiment. The initial part of that experiment was an absolutely resounding success. The, uh, the clones were, were um, visually perfect. However, we hit a slight hitch. The clones couldn't tell ally from enemy. The clones were then retired to here, Nettleville, where they have remained since. Now, the location of Nettleville will remain um, undisclosed to protect the clones from human contact. The clones mustn't know that there are others out there. Uh, this is Ryan Nettleboat, uh, signing off. Pop it. Pop it. Pop it. <sighs> she had another bad dream, Pop it. Mum, we're the same age. Don't belittle me. For once, can't we just be a real family? Mum, you're, uh... You're... Oh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Craig, get the fuck out now. Morning, Dad. I got a call from school today. I haven't been to school in years. Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> you can drop the father act around me, Dennis. You too, Craig. Can you at least call him Mum when you're in the house? Honey, did you tell him about the school? Shut up, Craig. Hello? Dougie, come to my office now, please. Look, I'm busy. Now. I said I'm busy. Now. Alright, okay, I'm on my way. Dougie! It's Dougie. I don't know a Dougie. You wanted to see me? Uh, Flappy Ryan. Excuse me? Have you played it? No. Is this all you called me in for? Fuck! I can't get past cocking five! I'm lowering your pay. What? Why? Why? Dismiss. You haven't given me a reason. Pop along.
Come in. Doctor. Ryan Nesselboat. And you're Dougie, I presume. How do you know my name? I try to remember the names of all of my children. Contrary to popular belief, we're all different in our own ways. Plus, I'd recognise your slack posture from a mile off, Douglas. May I suggest you not be so gluttonous the next time you reach for the pillows at night? Uh, that's not why I'm here. Well, in that case, I shall suspend my excitement no longer and demand you tell me exactly why you are. But first, may I suggest we lock the door? After all, the walls do have eyes, you know, and ears, and, uh, whoa. <laughs> Would you look at that? I've completely lost my train of thought. You know, this happens all too frequently now, and I just forget exactly what I'm trying to say. The, the walls. Ah, yes. Ears and eyes and, uh... No. The ones that border the town. Go on. I just want to know what it'd be like on the other side. I speak from experience, my boy, when I say that the contents within the wall far exceed anything you'll find beyond its reach. Thank you for your time, Doctor. You're not like them, Douglas. What? You and I both know a being of your intelligence does not deserve to be caged. I'm sorry? Come now, Douglas. You don't really believe I'd submit the goods that easily now, do you? You... This... is why you're here, is it not? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up, hold up. On the ground. On the ground. That's right. Let me see the hands. All right, okay. Let me see the hands. All right. Right, you're going to need to cough up some ID. Sharpish, mate. There it is, there it is. Right. I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Dr. Nettleboat. Hey, you should have said something, mate. Right. I'll keep hold of that. You know the procedure, yeah? Good stuff. Come in. Dougie! Aren't you forgetting something, Douglas?